So this says, the 50, uh, 80 kilogram man in the bosun's chair exerts a pull of 225 newtons on the rope for a short interval, find his acceleration, and neglect the mass of the chair, rope, and pulleys. So this is a fairly simple example of um, being able to draw free body diagrams and calculate forces and accelerations from them. So to start off, what I'm going to do is draw the free body diagram of this situation. So the focus is on obviously the man, um, since that's what we're looking for the acceleration on. So So looking at this person, um, they're going to have a few different forces acting on them and this is what I'm going to represent the person with, just a, a block. So the most obvious thing to put on this is the weight of the person. So we know that's going to be acting down through their centre of mass um, and the weight of the person is their mass times gravity. So I'm going to call it mg. Alright, now we've told to act, uh, sorry, neglect the mass of the chair and the rope and the pulleys, so there's going to be no further weight terms on this uh, free body diagram. The only other force comes from um, the rope, which is holding the guy up. So the trick to this question is knowing how many um, tensions essentially we need to um, put in here. So an easy way to think about it is if you were to cut this guy off, um, and he was to fall, obviously, um, you would have to cut through four separate um, things here. One, two, three, four. So what that means is when you apply the tension onto the diagram, you're going to have four T's holding him up, four times the tension in the rope. Now it's important to note that if we weren't neglecting the mass of the, and the inertia of the pulleys, um, then we wouldn't be able to make it so simple um, in terms of the tension in the rope wouldn't be the same the whole way around. Um, but because we are neglecting it, tension in the rope is equal throughout. You have to cut through four different lines in order to um, cut him off. So that means that we're going to have four T's in here. So let's define a coordinate system uh, with x, y. And what we can say is that the sum of the forces, um, our interest is in the y direction, is equal to m a y. So in the y direction, we have 4t going up minus mg going down. It's equal to the mass of the guy times the acceleration in the y direction. And we're going to assume he's only able to move up and down. So let's just call it ma. We're trying to solve for that acceleration, so we can rearrange. And we get this. And now it's just a matter of substituting in. So it's 4 times the tension in the rope, and we're told that he's going to pull uh, 225 um, newtons down. So that's going to be the tension the whole way through. So 4 times 225 minus his mass, oop, which is 80, times gravity, which is 9.8, and divide by his mass again. So solving this, it comes out to be approximately uh, 1.45 meters per second squared and because it came out to be positive it's in the positive y direction so it's straight up. So there you go, that's a fairly simple example of how to draw a free body diagram and calculate an acceleration off a 